Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's all right. Mm. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Watermelon, watermelon. That's a rude bear. The rhymes. <laughs> Alright, you ready? <laughs> hey, everybody. <clears throat> Ow. Sorry. I think I had coffee in my eye. Your eye? My eye will be caffeinated now. Well, that's good. It'll be awake. Yeah, just this one. It'll be like this the whole time. Well, we'll have half a Brian. Half a caffeinated Brian. There you go, guys. I'm Brian from AromaCup.com. Thanks for joining me, guys, here in my virtual coffee shop. Today, I've invited Kevin Kennedy, local comedian extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire? Do you, like, say it differently? It sounds like millionaire. Extraordinaire. That's I got nothing. I'm sorry. Cinnamony. 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 That's the tongue twister of the day, folks. All right. So, anyway, I have my friend Kevin Kennedy here in the studio. Uh, he's come in to join me, talk a little bit about. Uh, we're going to talk about grinding coffee and making French press coffee today. Oh, I know how to make French press coffee. Do you? I do. Is it? First, I need to grind the beans, though. Well, that's what I'm going to do. It's really easy to do. Check oh, it out. Can I have a handful of beans, too? You don't have a coffee grinder. I don't need a grinder. Okay, chewing the beans doesn't count. I don't know the way you do it, but I know the way I do it, and I know it's freaking awesome. Just saying. You ever been to Funky Town? Because that's my coffee. Once. Tastes fabulous. I don't want coffee that tastes funky. That sounds dangerous. Like funky town. Like the coffee doesn't taste funky. It no tastes one, great. No one wants. It'll take you somewhere in your mind to where you haven't been before. It's that good. Okay. All right. You sold me. So, you know, so I'm, some beans. I'm going to grind it my way, but I'm going to use the Bodum Bistro coffee grinder here. It's got all these different settings. I can turn the, the hopper up here to match up with the type of coffee I want to grind. You know, so I need to make sure that it matches up with uh, French press right here. So it has a sp speedometer? Is that what that is? That's kind of a speedometer, yeah. All right. Yeah, that would be about right, yes. Do they govern it? No, it's, it's not governed. But you I bet you American ones can't go as fast as, like, European ones. You do have to get the emissions tested. Oh, okay, because it emits dangerous coffee gases. Dangerous coffee gases, that's right. So you want some coffee yeah, beans? Yeah, 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 give me some beans. I just put them right there. Here, oh, well, you can take a handful. Here we go. You're going to need more than that if you're going to make a good cup. Oh, of, okay. I mean... Those are some good beans, by the way. You have to, you have to grind your coffee really coarse. This is my automatic coffee When you're making French cups. In my mouth. French... I don't want to drink this coffee anymore. No, that's just for me. I'm not going to Oh, that's just it. for you. Okay, all right. All right. I'm just, all right. Well, so, you know, I'm, you got to grind your coffee coarse, Kevin, coarse when you're grind. making, you know, French press. Okay. <clears throat> it's important that it because be. Because the French are coarse people. Don't say that. Our French viewers might not like us anymore. Are you kidding? France loves us. France does not love us. Yeah, you, you <clears throat> go to those French restaurants and you raise a little French flag. And they bring you more crepes? Yeah, no, that doesn't... What French restaurant are you going to? Ponchos. <laughs> Le Ponchos. <laughs> okay, show me how to grind a car. All right. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to grind mine just like this. Check it out. All I need I'll to show do... you how to grind All right, coffee. I just need to make sure it's turned on. So I'm probably going to forget with you bugging me here. It's Whisper... Whisper quiet. That is not how you 
you grind coffee? It seems to be working. And you wanted a coarse grind? Or That's like not... We don't want to make a mess in our virtual kitchen. So what you want it's to do... It's virtual coffee shop. What you, what you want to do when you grind coffee... I mean, I serve some people sometimes. Is you want to pound a couple times with the hammer, and then you want to make a neat little pile. I just... I... Just, and then you want to go back... Uh... You know what? Fine. I'm in too. Let's do this thing. It's kind of like when you get that bubble wrap and you have to pop all the bubbles. It's a challenge. Yes. Yeah. Like whack-a-mole. You ever been to Putt-Putt? Yeah, they kicked me out once. I heard we're getting a Dave and Buster's. A Dave and Buster's? That's what I heard. I'm going to get kicked out of there too. Look at that grind. All right, I'll give it to you. I mean, all right, let's, just, let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. Mine I guess is definitely more coarse than yours. It is definitely more coarse. This is about the coarsest thing I've ever dealt with. I'm not done yet. You know, I want to make some coffee someday. Yeah, well, you know, people want world peace too. Good luck with that. They don't get it with hammers. Really? Really? Do you have to smash each and every one? You missed a couple. All right, it's cool. Anyway, French. And then we sweep back into the pile. French press coffee. It usually makes, you know, the best cup of coffee. At least that's what we think here at AromaCup.com. Kevin Kennedy has some interesting thoughts on the matter. Um, can I use these now? Almost. Well, I mean, I'm running out of things to talk about. All I have is this carafe here. Can you here. rush art? I mean, it's a masterpiece here. I can rush art. You know why? Because it's my virtual coffee shop! Come on! Thank you, my lovely assistant, Igor, bringing me some water. Okay, well, I'm going to get to work here because the people want to see me make coffee. Okay, you can just go to town. I mean, that's why they tune in. Okay. You know, so can I use your specially ground beans? Sure. All right, I I'm, think they're ready. You're not going to crush my hand, are you? No, no. All right, well. Oh, mixed together with the other grind. Well, now yeah. Now we really have a coarse grind going. In harmony. Everything in harmony, Kevin. I, I don't. This is the, some of those beans were stubborn. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. You had to pound them a done. few times. And I've done some weird stuff. All right. So anyway, you've totally messed up my mixing abilities now. So I'm just going to add a bunch of coffee. Usually, we would tell you to, you know, be like pretty specific about like how many spoons and things like that, but. Um, that's not what we're doing here today in um, aromacup.com. Apparently we're doing things the Kevin Kennedy way. So could I pour hot water in now? Is that okay? Or do you have like a special way of making hot water? Um, go ahead with the, the water's already ready. Yeah, you're okay with that? Unless you want some yellow water. I'm gonna pour this on But it's probably face. not hot enough to make coffee. It is hot enough to make coffee. No, Look. well, we could heat up my yellow water. And then. I don't want any yellow water, Kevin. I just want to add some hot water to my carafe right here. Because now I can get the coffee beans That'd blooming. That'd be more like R. Kelly coffee. That sounds horrible. What kind of coffee would Michael Jackson drink? Um, the kind that's black on the bottom and then white on the top. What do they call those? Cappuccinos? Oh, God. The foam and everything. You know, I'm just going to keep doing what But he's I do. always taking off the foam and putting new foam. And you're like, what do you need with new foam, man? It's a condition. The world will never know. That's true. The world will never know. A condition known as vertigo venus. 
that Michael Jackson has? He did have that condition. Right. That's actually very true. All right, so anyway, Kevin, you know, the important thing is to let your coffee bloom and brew for a while. Bloom? Bloom. Like a flower. Like a flower. All right. Or you know. Nirvana. Yes, exactly. Like Nirvana. But we can't sing any lyrics because... I told you I didn't have a gun. We'll probably be, you know, arrested or sued or something. By the ghost of Kurt. So everything else is glass here. You're not going to use the hammer for anything else, are you? Um... The well, answer is no. Taxes, but, you know. The answer is supposed to be no. I'm not done with my taxes yet. But. That's okay, neither am I. Okay, we, we can help you out. You got your own hammer, right? That's, I do have my own hammer. Okay. Do I need to use it on my head? No, later for your taxes. Oh, all right, there you go. All right, so anyway, usually we would let our coffee sit for about four minutes. So let's use a little magic right now and let four minutes pass. All right, check it out. I'm going to use magic. Are you ready? Magic. Here we go. Four minutes later. Hey. Awesome, huh? Very cool. Like I, I just so. listened to a pink song that I didn't have to hear. That would hopefully be every pink song. Right? Some songs are yellow. Others are you purple. and yellow things. It's weird. Anyway, I'm trying to make some coffee here, Kevin. I'm watching intently. I'm, I'm trying make to make coffee. you a nice, refreshing and cup. So you just put it in the thing and you smash the, the plunger down. Yeah. Okay. But you gotta Does wait it four also minutes. Take clogs out of the toilet. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing with my French press? Um, just French things. You know. French things. Yeah, like you know, European things. European. Yeah, later. <laughs> yeah. After we drink the coffee. I keep setting myself up. Okay. Anyway, through the magic of television, I've now made four minutes pass. We're on YouTube Vision. Television, YouTube, whatever. You get the point, all right? So vision. all I'm going to do now, Kevin, is I'm going to pour you this nice hot cup of fresh coffee that I've made for you here. And we both ground the beans. <laughs> That's true. So tell me what you think, because this is definitely the most unique has cup nice of coffee. Color to it. Yeah, that's, that's what she said. It smells good. That's also what she said. You want to help me blow on it? Still a bit warm. Are you done yet? What do you think? It tastes like the south of France. Yeah, that's not all that's going to taste like the south of France. Mm. <laughs> that is pretty darn good coffee, I must say. It does have a little crunch to it. Well, I mean, we used your method. The French press is pretty hot. This is the Bodum French press. It is the Bodum French press. It's 32 ounces. And that's the ounces. Bodum coffee grinder, so you don't have to, to use a hand. And this is the Kevin Kennedy coffee right. grinder. The nice. other way I grind coffee is you put them under, under the tires of like your Cadillac, and then you just put it in reverse and go over. That gives you a pretty pretty grind ground coarse coffee. That is that is grinding. You got to be careful that you don't get like little bits of broken glass in there. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're getting it from the street. Yeah, you know. Well, when that, they say street coffee, that's what they really mean in Brazil. That coffee is what we call that's grind. That's how to make French coffee was Brazil. That's grind core coffee. Yeah, oh, grind core. Yeah, it's pretty hardcore. It's a, guys. it's a special... Are you done already? Uh, he gave us the two-minute warning. I think we're over. Oh, well, all right. If you think we're done, I mean, I guess. Anyway, that's a special way to make French press coffee. Guys, um, thanks to Kevin Kennedy for joining me here. And, oh, uh, here's the product. Oh, oh of course. it says Brazil. Brazil. On the French press. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's the Brazilian street coffee. Here, I thought I was just making a joke, but it says it right there. We're making Brazilian street coffee here in the Aroma Cup studios today with Kevin Kennedy. Uh, he's a comedian here from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And, um, See, because I'm glad I had this video because all of this is in Brazilian. It's in French. Oh, okay. Well... Not what do I know English from what not? That's not English, I can tell you that. No, that's true. I don't, think, I don't think you've been speaking English for Designed most of the time C. you've been here. Jorgensen. I used but, to... But his, his O is not an O, it's a fee. I used to go to school with C. Jorgensen. But his O is a fee. Did you ever tell him that? I mean, it means less than nothing. 
I don't even know what a fee is, guys, but now I kind of know, thanks to Kevin Kennedy. Um, oh, this side has English. Yes, and I'm going to let you read that, Kevin, all right? Intently. Read it carefully. Use coarse ground coffee. Done. Yeah. Add hot water and stir. Yeah. Done. Yeah, we're covered on that part, guys. Um, wait four minutes and press. Done. Just, everything's going wrong. Enjoy in, coffee. Oh, wait. In the... Anyway, guys, mm. um, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. This is Kevin Kennedy, and this has been uh, the most interesting way you could ever make French press coffee in the world. So thanks for joining us. Uh, enjoy your cup. I don't get one, but I'll just, I'm going to drink this. I'm going to drink straight, from the, straight from the carafe. We're doing it. Tune into our other videos next time, guys. Cheers. AromaCup.com. We'll see you guys later. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Watermelon, watermelon. That's a rutabaga.